I'd like to show you so how, we, how far things have gone. So we're here at the IE TechX show, and uh, so who are you? Well, I'm Martin Vomik. I lead the Perceptual Computing Group at Intel. Uh, we're developing Intel RealSense technology that brings human-like sensing to computing devices and machines. And what are we looking at here? You're looking at the RealSense camera LR200 series that is in the market now. And This one? Yeah, it's on the drones and robots. And what you're seeing here on my left hand, the smaller device is the next generation RealSense 400 series with smaller form factor, longer range, higher resolutions, and better depth quality. So a little device like this can do up to 60 meters? It can go more than 60 meters of range. Uh, if you want very highly accurate, then you want shorter distance than that. But as you know, our drones can always fly closer to an object for very accurate depth map. The so how depth can it map go typically, so far? Uh, well, this is based on the human visual system uh, with two imaging devices. So as you can see, we see very far. You may not be able to tell what's the distance between the tree and the mountain, but when you get, get up close, you really know the distance precisely, right? So you can see very far, and the uh, accuracy scales um, as you come closer to the So if you look at the device object. again, there's uh, is there like a normal camera and an IR camera, or how does yes. it work? So typically, let me just uh, give an example of this device here. It has two IR cameras. It has an RGB camera, an IR laser projector, and inside the package, there is a special chip that we built, the RealSense imaging processor, that does all the computation in low power. Is it like an ISP, or how does, how does uh, it no, work? No, so ISP is just an image signal processor. There's just one function. We have uh, 3D computation hardware, the stereo correlation, the binocular disparity calculation, the depth calculation, all of those algorithms are coded into the hardware. And that chip is not the, is not an ARM, right? And it's not an x86? Uh, no, this is not a general purpose processor. This is really a fixed custom. function hardware, custom built to run specific uh, algorithms. All right, so there's a, there's a Movidius and there's a Project Tango. How yes. does that compare, well, what um, they do? You might have seen the news that we, we acquired Movidius. They're part of my team now. Uh, Movidius brings deep learning technology into these devices. So I showed in the presentation how you can do low power 3D point calculations and understand the world. And then you, learn, you run deep learning algorithms on a low power chip like Movidius to understand what you see. So, so that's yet really, another chip, right? Yes. And, and then you would connect it with a general purpose processor like an x86 or an ARM for the general compute. And uh, Project Tango, can, are they using your technology or could they use your technology? Can it go down into phones and tablets? or? So I can only comment what you've shown publicly together. You should ask uh, Google about that. We have good partners. We have shown devices that include RealSense, Intel processors, uh, power, powering Tango phones. But they have various technologies in there portfolio and they're also working broadly with the industry. And then this one you're talking about, it also has oh, an yes. Atom in here? So this is a device that we just introduced into the market as a developer kit. It has a real sense camera, a fisheye camera, a motion sensor, an atom processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity. So it's almost like a computer plus real sense and uh, understanding capabilities all built built inside a candy bar. Is it like a Z8300 or? It's It's got a ZR300 and, device. And what does that one do? Device. Does that compute extra uh, so you can, deep you, learning on the device? You can, yeah, you can think of this as the sensing and understanding capability of a robot. So if you literally take this device and put it on a, an Arduino robot, a low cost, $20 robot, you can t turn that into an autonomous machine. So because with this, it will be able to again? recognize the world and navigate. Uh, so, um, I don't think we have publicly announced the price, but we don't plan to make profit from here. This is just to enable enable people to uh, develop systems. You can, it's like, a, it's got everything that you have in your phone, minus the LCD screen, but you have a depth camera, so two to three hundred dollars. But there's no battery, right? There is a, also, so there's a battery pack as well. I'm not showing it here, but you can clap yeah. a stripe of batteries in here. How long will it last? Or you could connect with a USB to your another device that has a battery. Does it last for a while? The yeah, it'll, it'll battery last, life will it'll be last, long it'll last very long. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, this is changing everything, right? If everybody starts using this. So, so uh, how popular is RealSense so far, and what's been I, the history since when is Intel working on this? Well, we we started working on it roughly about four years ago, and uh, today it's it's a pretty significant investment for us. Uh, we saw multiple acquisitions we made. We shipped millions of these devices 
yeah, that are already shipping in consumer uh, systems. Yeah. And uh, we're ramping it from drones, robots, to interact with computers, to virtual reality devices. We think it's, uh, um, we are at the onset of uh, an evolution in interactive computing devices, intelligent systems. And any manufacturer in the industry can just buy the module and put it in? It could be like arm, arm devices, right? They sure. Put them, like yeah. they can just buy it yes. and put it in? Yeah, you could just buy the module and add. You have a computing device already. I showed how unique as a drone maker. They're already having drones in the market, but they added real sense for autonomous collision avoidance. Robots that are already in the market, they added real sense for autonomous navigation capabilities. And the one that's in the market, is it even better than the Phantom 4? Is it the best drone uh, with the uh, object, uh, obstacle avoidance and follow and everything? So I'd rather, I rather not comment on the unique versus DJI, but I, uh, publicly DJI uses our Movidias technology for uh, computer vision and understanding. Unique uses RealSense for collision avoidance. I think they're both uh, great devices. All right, and soon we'll have the Asus. Soon it's going to be released, yeah, right? Yeah, Asus showed the chairman, Johnny Shi showed the Zenbo robot demo at Computex last June. 2017? And they'll, they'll bring it soon to the market. I don't think they have publicly commented on when they start shipping, but should be very soon. So I guess your, your department is very busy on, on getting this everywhere, right? Yes, we're very excited about it. We're working with a um, lot of companies from the robotics, drone, PC, and uh, various other ecosystems to build this technology into their systems. You saw digital mirrors, many examples.